uh, on the same topic of what a time to be alive, Coca-Cola is now infusing the signature brand with coffee. Coffee Coke. Coffee cool. Coca-Cola. Think about that. Now, Coke has been struggling a little bit, particularly with the flagship drink, Coca-Cola. It's been down a little bit. The market for carbonated soft drinks declined 1.6% annually from 2012 to 2017. Brands have responded with a variety of strategies. Of course, you've seen they've, uh, they've, they've invested more in water, bottled water, mm. carbonated water, uh, lower, lower sugar alternatives that they're selling now. But this is a new angle, an interesting one. Coca-Cola plus coffee launching <clears throat> in more than 20 markets with a diligent consumer focus, consistent messaging, and an integrated execution plan has driven strong performance. That's what Coca-Cola is currently saying. In other words, it's going well, Coca-Cola plus coffee. Now, a lot of people are not going to remember this, but this is not their first time with a coffee drink. They had something called Coca-Cola Black, B-L-A-K, and it did terrible. And I think that just was a bad name. I think that's all that is. And it, it, it was limited markets as well. Bad packaging, too. It's freaking me out a little bit. Coca-Cola Plus Coffee, on the other hand, sounds more... I don't know why it sounds more appealing. I want to give it a shot for some reason. Yeah, have a swig. I just want to try it right now for yeah. some reason. Now, apparently... It's also, does Coca-Cola and coffee, do those flavors sound complimentary? For some reason, they do. Mm. Sure, sure. Bubbly coffee. I know there's been coffee beers in the past. Mm. They're carbonated. They're a bit sweet. It's all very interesting. The largest contributor to retail value growth was the flagship U.S. market driven by continued double-digit volume gains in Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. So the sugar thing appears to be the problem, as well as the size of the cans. So apparently, the other area that's growing well for Coca-Cola is the 7.5-ounce mini cans. So mm. people are like, I can have the Coke, but I can't have the whole one. Right, like a little taster. I can have the, the little one. Yeah. So Coke's like, hey, man, you can still buy us. Just buy the small one. It'll all be fine. Coffee consumption, on the other hand, is crushing. Global coffee consumption is growing at 5.5% a year. And after Starbucks and Kraft Heinz, which owns Maxwell House, Mordor ranked Coca-Cola as the third largest global player. Mordor? Mordor. <laughs> That's the company. Is, is that like, something from Lord of the Rings? Yeah. <laughs> it's also the name of uh. the company... Uh, Mordor Intelligence. Oh, I see. Okay. That they track global coffee consumption. Yeah. Sorry, that name threw me. The Coke Plus coffee product family packs slightly more caffeine than a regular can of Coke, but still clocks in under what a traditional cof uh, cup of coffee contains. Mm. So it's not like a, it's not a tremendous amount of caffeine. It's not like an energy drink or something. So maybe I'm gonna have to import some of that. Give it a crack. It's interesting nonetheless. Coke trying to hang on trying to satisfy the shareholders, come up with new drinks. People love coffee. Coffee has not taken a big hit yet. People, that word coffee, I'm, people are lining up for it. So why not? Coca-Cola coffee is coming. Keep an eye out.